I've been following your journey a little bit on, on Twitter these past days, and I can see that you've been going door to door, speaking with uh, uh, voters in your riding. Uh, what are you hearing on the ground? Absolutely. Uh, just about every day I'm at the doors. I think it's important to keep in touch with what people are saying. And I'm, I'm hearing that people are concerned about climate change and the environment and, and also about the economy. And I think those are the two main planks of our platform. Uh, the platform uh, that you've seen that is fully costed, that is, I think, the only uh, platform that is fully costed in, in this particular election. And, uh, and I'm, I'm always pleased to answer questions uh, on both uh, the environment and the economy when I'm, when I'm at the doors and, and also here today with you. Okay, let's talk about pandemic recovery. Uh, how will the Liberal Party continue to support local business and weather this, this, this pandemic, which, you know, still, we, it still has no end in sight? Well, as Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Small Business, I was working hand in hand with the Minister of Finance and the Minister of Small Businesses on all of the recovery programs that we put in place for our entrepreneurs. You know, I hear in my writing, I hear it from entrepreneurs and business owners on Park Avenue, on St. Laurent. Um, were it not for the federal government stepping up, these businesses would have been closed. Eight out of every $10 spent uh, during the pandemic in order to support Canadians was spent by the federal government. And we consistently changed and adapted those programs based on the needs on the ground. And I can't tell you what a difference it made to, to our entrepreneurs. I also just want to point out that we are now in the next phase. Now that businesses are opening up, we've also supported a lot of shop local initiatives. Um, I was able to announce federal funding for shop local initiatives right across Quebec. And I know that the minister did so uh, across Canada as well. And so we'll continue to be there in order to support our economic recovery. Uh, the lack of affordable housing is another big issue facing all Montrealers, and your, you know, the riding of Outremont is is no exception with rents, uh, you know, skyrocketing. How would you help finance more affordable housing? And and really, people question what powers do you have on a federal level to do that? Well, you know, it is tricky because uh, we do share this jurisdiction with the provinces and territories, but we have said, and, and you can see it in our platform, we will act in order to help, uh, you know, combat this, uh, this housing crisis that we see in Montreal. I see it in the plateau, in the mile end. We're talking about renovating uh, or creating 1.4 million new units, which will increase supply and, and therefore, um, you know, help stabilize prices. We're also going to be reducing closing costs and monthly mortgage fees and also creating a tax-free savings account in order to help you know the families that I meet every day that tell me that they would like to buy their first home but are finding it a bit prohibitive. We're also going uh, to attack these rent evictions. I hear about it all the time. I imagine that you do too. And the important thing is to act. And so what we have said is we would be introducing a new anti-flipping tax. That's going to be incredibly important. And I think, um, you know, the second piece that I would mention here is, is, is really restricting, in fact, banning foreign owners from coming in and, and taking up properties here in Canada. And we're going to do that for a period of two years to see, you know, what effect that it has uh, on our housing market here. But, you know, the important thing, I think, is that what you see in black and white in our platform are real concrete steps in order to attack the housing crisis that we see in Montreal and across the country. And I do want to get you uh, on the topic of, of, of gun control, as that is something else that you are, you are very passionate. Uh, Aaron O'Toole says that he will uh, keep the Liberals' firearm ban in place, but you're still not uh, convinced. Well, I'm a lawyer, so I'll believe it when I see it. It still says in his platform that he will repeal the 2020 decree, which bans uh, 1,500 models of assault weapons in this country, including the Ruger Mini-14, the gun that was used in Polytechnique uh, over 30 years ago to kill 14 students, 14 women. And that's in my community, that's in my backyard. And so, yes, I have been fighting uh, for stronger gun control measures since I've been elected and I will continue to do so. And, you know, in addition to uh, the, the very strong measures that we've put in place for assault weapons, we are also proposing to act in order to combat and in order to fight handguns. And so I think what you see in our platform is a very complete and a very robust, uh, you know, policy proposal for Canadians on the environment, on the economy, on housing and on gun control.